Good morning, YouTube. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is well. Okay, I make a lot of cost of living here in the Philippines, and people want to know uh, about my house, uh, how much I pay for it, and uh, the size of it, the quality of it. Uh, people are curious to know what they will get here for their dollar. I have a lot of retired people that that's very curious about moving here and they want to know about the housing. Okay, I pay 10000 a month, which is $196 US. So it's a nice place. It's a two bedroom. I got a good security all the way around this place. I got high fence with sharp points all the way around this thing. Um, very dangerous. Uh, people be taking their lives in their own hands. They want to try to climb that thing. But anyway, uh, let's get back to it. I'm going to show you guys a tour of the house and I will show you what I have for $196 a month. So I will catch you just a second. Okay, guys, let's get started here. We're out here on the front porch. We got nice tile out here. We got the bamboo furniture. I had this for a while. Uh, I got tired of it. I went ahead and bought new furniture back in February or maybe it was March. I can't remember which. I think it was in February, the end of February. I bought all new furniture here. Let's go inside. Now this is basically what you get for about 200 a month. All the possessions in here are all mine. I bought everything here. I got the TV, I got the sofa, air condition, the chairs, the coffee table. Oh, I tell you what, guys, people are coming from America and want to live here. Be sure and bring your blood pressure cuff. Uh, they have a blood pressure, uh, blood pressure cuff here in the Philippines. It's Chinese, very poor quality. I don't like them. Um, I bought that from U.S. Medical in America uh, before I left, and plus my meter to check my blood sugar. Um, if you check your blood sugar and your uh, blood pressure, it will cost you 500 pesos to get that processed, or it might, might take a little bit more, depending on what doctor you use. So... Be sure to have your blood pressure cuff and your meter. Uh oh, Agnes is in here eating. It's lunchtime here. Wow. So she's having her boulad. <laughs> and she's, I'm not sure what else she got. Yeah, she's got her dried fish in here. I don't like those little guys. Those guys are no good. They behold as they stink. So. I don't particularly care for them, but anyway, yeah, everything, the refrigerator doors and microwave, oven, stove, basically this is the way you cook in the Philippines. You go out and buy one of these little stoves like this, and you got a bottle of gas. Uh, we don't really have an oven. We have a grill out back. We grill all our food. Um, it's a pretty good way of doing it. Now, we got... A smart television here, a 52 inch, and we got a smart television in here, a 42 inch, um, which is a pretty good thing. Uh, all our information is on there, as far as our emails, everything in there, our, our computer stuff. We keep it on our televisions. Uh, we like doing that. Here's our other bedroom. Yeah, this is two bedroom house. Agnes puts all my stuff in here for some reason. Or not everything. I got a few clothes in here. But we got a bed here. Which it's, this is a bamboo bed in here. It's, they're kind of rickety over a while. They get, they get rickety. They're not bad though. I, I, like, I like it for the, the look. I mean, in America you don't have bamboo stuff like this. I mean, you do, but it costs a fortune. Here in the Philippines... Everybody and their dog builds a bamboo bed for 
the house or whatever. So you can buy those things just about anywhere here. This is our kind of a overflow area. We got all our junk, the TV boxes, all our water bottles. We got all our ex, uh, extra water that we keep. There are the motorcycle helmets. Now, the other bedroom here, we got the closet. We got a closet there. We got air conditioning up there. We got our cabinet. This could be like a little makeup little area. Agnes keeps all her junk right there. And here's our bedroom or bathroom. I'm sorry. We this is not a bad little bathroom. We got the shower up there. We don't have hot water here. We got a place for one of those uh, hot water uh, things that recirculates the water, comes up and it goes up there and you can have hot water if you want. Actually, we live close enough to the pump station over here. Um, we don't need the hot water because it comes out pretty warm. Okay, here's the side. This is the side of our house. You can tell we got very good security here. Those things are very sharp. I could not imagine trying to climb up there and slipping and falling on these things. It would not be pretty. Oh, there's our neighbor. His name's Joe. He stinks. Smells like a goat. But Agnes has been doing laundry today. She got her grill over there. Now there's our oven over there. Yeah, We don't use that thing, but it's kind of like a Good place to bake bread or whatever. Um, people here in the Philippines use those things, but we have never used it. If we want something baked, uh, we go to the store and go ahead and buy it baked. That's a good thing. Let's go back up here. It's been raining all morning today, so... I just repaired this a while back. I made a video about that. Had a big, great big stump in there. Uh, I went ahead and repaired that whole thing. Skimmed it up there on the wall. This had a big hole going down into the ground. I went ahead and put concrete on that, sealed it all up. It is much better now. And we got this side over here. This is our other side with our other air conditioner. And this is the neighbors over here. This belongs to a friend of mine, Australian friend of mine. But we got all this taken care of here. We get a, we clean almost every day, or Agnes does. Agnes does a really good job. But anyway, we This is our home, guys. This is our home for under $200 US a month. So anyway, I will catch you guys on the very next video. Peace out.